On the pavement at the spot where Stephen Lawrence was murdered, a memorial plaque to the teenager who lost his life in such horrific circumstances more than 27 years ago. His death had ramifications well beyond the understandable trauma and heartache suffered by his family and friends. But the protracted criminal investigation is now effectively at an end. Scotland Yard's commissioner said all identified lines of inquiry had now been completed. I do regret that we have not got to the stage where all the people who were involved in that dreadful attack have been brought to justice. Um, and I recognise that mistakes were made in the early days. Although police believe five young men were directly involved in the attack on Stephen Lawrence, there has only ever been one successful prosecution, eight years ago, where two men, Gary Dobson and David Norris, were convicted of murder. Reacting to the news of an end to the active investigation, Stephen's father, Neville Lawrence, said... I had hoped that the conviction of two of the killers in 2012 would lead to new evidence coming to light and a prosecution of the other suspects. Doreen Lawrence appealed to anyone with information to still come forward even after many years. She said, it is never too late to give a mother justice for the murder of her son. Whilst the Metropolitan Police have given up, I never will. The tragedy brought about a fundamental review of policing in particular, with the McPherson report branding the Metropolitan Police institutionally racist. What the report highlighted was the level of racism in the organisation. The Met had policies, procedures, the way it worked, the way it, would, it dealt with investigations um, was prejudicial. Um, and I think there were some very, very uncomfortable things that the Met had to accept and was prepared to do things differently. Although police have indicated they could still reopen the investigation if they receive credible new evidence, the Lawrence family know that the passage of time means it is now highly unlikely anyone else will be brought to justice for ending a promising young life almost three decades ago. Mark White, Sky News.